Carlsbad, people, purpose, and impact, an essential podcast for those who live, work, visit, and play in Carlsbad. Good morning and welcome, everyone. My name is Brett Schonsenbach. I'm the president and CEO of the Carlsbad Chamber of Commerce. I am your host today, and I'm pleased to have with me Sharla Fagan. Sharla is the founder and owner of Sheer Karma Salon. Good morning, Sharla. Good morning. How are you? Wonderful. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you. It's good to have you. So when I prepare for these interviews, I do a little, you know, research and background checking and stuff, but I couldn't I you have some interesting story out there which we're going to touch on, but I couldn't tell if you were originally like from this area as a local or if you came here later. What's tell me that background story? My background story is I have born and raised Southern California. Nice. So, <laughs> um, I've been in, in Carlsbad area for, gosh, almost 30 years now. Okay. So I've been doing hair for about 30 years, and so I've been in the area ever since I started doing hair. Very nice. Okay. So you, But you weren't originally from here. Where were you born and all that stuff? Born in Orange County, oh, raised same. in Riverside County, and then... Okay. San Diego County. <laughs> All right. And how old were you when you came to San Diego County then? Uh, I was 18. Okay. So yeah. just gotcha. finished beauty school and ready to take on the world on the of world. beauty. And so mm -hmm. you chose Carlsbad. And why? Yes. Why? Why Carlsbad? Um, I don't know. I just had a, I just loved it. I just loved the feeling of it, the vibe, everything. So just I just drew you in. Yep, drew in. I moved away for a little bit, hated it, and moved back. <laughs> All right, nice, nice, nice. So my research says that you started your hairstylist journey at the age of seventeen. Yeah, so I was about seventeen, eighteen when I first started doing hair. And mm -hmm. it was interesting because it says that um, you were a stylist mentor for top hair care companies. Talk yes. about that. What was that like and <laughs> how did that work? Um, I started pretty early on. Um, I actually went to beauty school while I was in high school. Oh, so wow. as soon as I graduated, I was out doing hair. I was uh, able to have these opportunities for working for different companies. I was an educator. I did sales, brand management. Uh, I've done everything in the spectrum of the industry. Wow. I've, I'm one of those that I, I'm like, I, I want to try everything. Mm. I get super excited about something, and I just want to see everything in all different angles. And so that's what I did with this industry is that if there was an opportunity, I wanted to try it out. Right. So it was nice because it made me stronger as a For hairstylist sure. and somebody that's in the industry because I got to experience all the different angles yeah. and aspects of it. Were you traveling around as a trainer type of thing? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. I got to travel not very far, but all around the U.S. I went around and, and taught that's at, far? Yeah, you know, t taught in, in hair salons and did fashion shows and wow. hair shows. And, you know, in my young 20s, I just wow. I had a blast. To travel I was going to say, what an fun. ideal, fun thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> and then in 2011, it looks like you started Sheer Karma. Is that right? Yes. So tell us. Why? Why you were doing this, you're having fun, you're traveling, you're in the industry, you know, and doing all that. And then you made the conscious choice to start your own hair salon. Why? That is a good question. And I like that you said conscious choice yeah. because that's what it was. Um, I became a single mom mm -hmm. and I ended up stepping away from working behind the chair and working for corporate people in the industry, hair care lines and everything. And I ended up not doing so well. Mm. Um, big corporations were acquiring these companies. I was getting laid off. And mm. and I just was trying to find something that I can be able to provide for my daughter. Yeah. And the last time that happened and big company layoff, I decided, you know what? Here I was trying to think that another company is going to help me raise my daughter. And I decided at that moment that I'm not going to allow anybody to choose what I can and cannot make mm. in life. It's my power, yeah. my choice, uh, my child that I need to take care of. Yes. So I decided that I think I'm ready to go back to full-time doing hair because I was only doing part-time. And I'm, I'm ready to move forward and, and build my own business. 
and I had an opportunity to open up my own little salon studio. Mm -hmm. It was just like a little one chair studio and started small. And I knew that I needed to have something that had karma mm. <laughs> because I really truly believed that I was karmically being pushed to do what I'm supposed to do, which is yes. what I'm doing now. Right. It's kind of like more like my purpose. Yeah. And when I was talking to a friend and they were helping me out trying to think of name that has to do with karma. And I stopped and I and I told them, I said, you know, thank you so much for helping me with figuring out my business name. And yeah. and they go, oh, well, it's just sheer karma. And I'm like, that's it. That's it. That's the name, there sheer karma. <laughs> that's great. So it all just started flowing together after that. And with the um, the name, the sheer karma, I know there's a lot of layers to it, which we're going to unpack yes. a bit today. <laughs> but one of them is that you are a completely non-toxic salon environment. And um, I think that's a pretty big statement for that industry. Talk about that. Yes. Um, so with all of the companies that I worked with, um, I am definitely grateful for having those opportunities because I got to learn, again, at a different angle about ingredients yeah. and how important it is for um, hair products, uh, hair color, all of that stuff. Um, I learned a lot about being green, being sustainable, but also healthy for yourself, um, healthy for the earth, healthy for your, your body inside and out. So that was one of the things I really wanted to focus on is the health of the person and um, health of the earth. So that's why I started being a non-toxic salon. So we don't use anything that has any carcinogens, um, no uh, sulfates, no ammonia, anything that's something that would, would affect uh, our bodies or also um, the earth. Oh, that's awesome. And I know you went through the process that we have here. Um, you're a certified green company which is an extra, you know, process that mm -hmm. that is available and it's a cool pro we've been through it at the chamber as well and it's a it's a great um, thing that the city provides but um, yeah tell us why you chose to do that as an extension of what you were just sharing. Actually, it wasn't that hard to be certified because I was already doing it. Yeah. <laughs> You were living I, it. I was already recycling everything. Yeah. So we recycle pretty much everything. Uh, there's awesome. a company that I work for or work with. Uh, it's a nonprofit. I pack everything up. I ship it to them. Um, even our hair that we cut off of, of people, uh, we recycle. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I, everybody I mean, loves that's it. so cool. And, uh, you know, they make little mats that uh, you... They hang in storm drains. So it actually, I tell people, oh, you're going to help clean the ocean today. Wow, and so, that they hang yeah, in so storm hair, drains. hair absorbs. Sure. So hair absorbs dirt and oils, oils and yep. everything. So they use it actually to help filter. They filter wow. dirt, debris, oil. They use hair for oil spills in the ocean. Uh, oh, so there's so many it. different ways that you can be able to utilize. Hair, even for organic gardens, they use uh, hair for mulch for organic gardens. Mm. You can make furniture with with hair resin. There's wow. so many different things that you could do with hair. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> that is so cool. I remember uh, you saying that when we were in a, a different setting. You saying that you recycle everything, including the hair. And I didn't know exactly what that meant, but how interesting. Every time I say that, that's everybody knows, okay, you know, you know, you recycle plastic yeah. and, you know, all of that stuff, aluminum, but hair, not everybody knows yeah. what that means. Well, and I think there's the, a lot of people are aware of, you know, if, if you cut, I don't know, whatever it is, like 10 inches off of hair, like you can send it and it can be made into a wig or something mm -hmm. like that. I forget what that's called. My daughter's done it before. And... We do that. We actually promote um, for donating. Yeah, mm -hmm. which is cool. But I wouldn't have thought in general, just like any hair that you're cutting that could be recycled. I had never heard of that before. So that's really neat. Now, we should pause here for a second and talk about you're a full service salon like styling coloring i mean all that stuff right i mean talk about the services that you provide for hair care 
Uh, we, yeah, pretty much all hair. So color, cut, uh, we do keratin treatments. We actually have a non-toxic formaldehyde-free keratin treatment that we have. So pretty much that has to do with hair. We are doing it. Very nice. Very nice. All right. We're going to take a brief pause. We're, we're talking to Sharla Fagan, the owner and founder of Sheer Karma. And when we come back, we're going to talk about her emotional, intelligent life coaching. So stay with us. We'll be right back. So, Sharla, we were talking before the break about you're creating this non-toxic environment and recycling everything, including hair and everything like that, your full services. But you have another layer to you. You personally are a certified emotional intelligence life coach. That's a mouthful. I have to be very, <laughs> I have to say it slowly so I don't mess it up. So talk to us about how that came about, that you became that, and why that's important to you. Wow. Uh, what's important to me is, is that I work with people on a daily basis. Mm. And um, years ago, uh, I've had quite a few people have said, you know what, Charlotte, you'd be a really good life coach. <laughs> like, well, I pretty much am. Yeah, you know, I'm, right. I'm, that's what I do. And people always say a hairstylist is like a therapist. You yes, know? true. I, you know, we're, we're kind of licensed in a different way. So because of the fact that everybody kept saying, Charlotte, you'd be a great life coach because I'm I'm very positive mm. and motivational. I uh, just I just have this energy about me that when I walk in a room, everybody's just happy. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what I like promoting. I like promoting like being positive and happy. And and so I decided to get certified that's in so doing cool. what I normally do anyways. So emotional intelligence is really about being mindful, really. Mm. It's just, it just sounds really big <laughs> and long, but it's it's about teaching mindfulness. Yeah. So being being grateful and gratitude, but also being careful with what you say, with your words. Mm. So emotional intelligence is really being mindful of your emotions, but also your thoughts and how you interact with other people. Oh, that's because great. everything is energy. Yeah. Your thoughts is energy, your words is energy. So making sure that you are exchanging that energy in more in a positive way within yourself and then also with other people. Oh, that's great. I like what you said uh, how it was already stuff you were doing before you got certified, right? But um I remember uh, a a priest telling me once he was like, "Well, the bartenders and hairstylists in the community hear way more confessions than I do, you know? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, well, that's probably true, right? You're just engaging with people in life. Um, so that's great. On your, um, on your website, you talk about how you like to help people with self-love, love for others, and inner strength. Yes. Share about that. Uh, well, it's also about being mindful, yeah. really. I mean, you think about it, you know, energy and in your thoughts and your feelings. So it's all about you. So we believe that taking care of yourself is not just on the outside, but it's also on the inside. So making sure that you give yourself quality time for yourself to relieve the stresses from your daily things that you need to do. Um, giving yourself self-love, you know, mm -hmm. giving yourself a little bit of gratitude yeah. of, of the, hard, the hard work that you have accomplished in your life. Um, even in your daily tasks, it could be something as small as, hey, I, you know, did a good job at work today, or I made sure that my kids were taken care of today, or right. any little small things. That is something to be proud of. Yeah. And giving yourself that, that, that love and that appreciation within yourself. Uh, so that's what we really do is we we help give you that space of, of pure love at that special time. So our, when you come into the salon, it's kind of more of that positive spa-like mm -hmm. experience. Um, it's, self, it's time for yourself. Yes. You know, we do have a lot of women that are moms and they sure. work. And, you know, I just had a client yesterday that she didn't cut her hair for three years. Wow. She goes, Sharla, I have been so busy with my kids and my husband and my job. I just have not made time for myself. Wow. And I really, really needed this. And so I made sure that I catered this time for her to be her to be able to relax and without kids, you know, having to take care of just for herself. 
And it was a great experience that she she did. You know, we, we do essential oils, so we do aromatherapy. Sure. We do positive quote cards. Nice, um, yeah. We make sure that, you know, at the shampoo bowl, we got a good massage going. Mm, nice. Um, so it's just a lot about self-care. Yeah, love that. Um, and, uh, oh, something you said stuck with me, and then I lost it. Darn it. It'll come back here, and oh, oh, the three-year thing. I mean, that's that's amazing. She hadn't had that for three years, and then mm -hmm. I think you were uh, meant to, you know, intersect with her. That's amazing. Yes. Um, and I love that you talked about the mindfulness and how important that is, because that's true for um, all of us. And I love that you're, you know, bringing that into, you know, your exchange with mm -hmm. uh, clients and and everything, um, and. So you've built your business as a single mom. How old's your daughter now? She's 18. 18, okay. <laughs> now, does she have any interest in this industry? Or? No, everybody asks me, you yeah. know, does she want to do that? No, she's in performing arts. Oh, very so, nice. So um, what I have installed in her growing up is that do whatever you want to do that's going to make you happy. Absolutely. And if you want to be a performer and be up on stage and sing and that's your passion, do it. Yep. Um, don't let anybody else to tell you otherwise. That's if great. If that's what you want to do in life, I support you 100%. Because that's, in my industry, it's 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 hard. You know, yeah. it's a lot of competition, but I love what I do. Yeah, I love great. what I do. I'm passionate about it. Um, I, I feel purposeful because I'm helping people. Yeah. Uh, so I I made sure that she grew up in, in that sense. That That's wonderful. To, to live, to make her make herself happy, whatever she wants. Yeah, for sure. That's wonderful. So the best place for people to like learn more and get in touch with you or set up an appointment would be the website, possibly. Or? Yes. Yes. Okay. The website, also our Instagram page. Okay. You know, because Instagram, um, we're not just in any typical salon. So on our Instagram, we do have like hair pictures and showing our work and everything, sure. but it's also about like the experience. And yeah. that's also talks about our website. So it shows like what you're going to experience coming into the salon. Yes, you're going to get, you know, a good haircut or a good color or anything like that. But, you know, there's so many different talented hairdressers yeah. out there. You know, we all do hair, we all cut hair, we all color hair, but really is the experience nice. on how you're going to get that good hair experience is what That's we great. really strive for. So your website is www.sheerkarma.com, and that's S-H-E-A-R, karma, K-A-R-M-A, -A, so sheerkarma.com, and they can come find out more about you, book an appointment, and, uh, and then come and enjoy your services. Yes, absolutely. It's wonderful. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to come and share about your business and, and your philosophy and, and, you know, how, you know, how you bring that positivity to, to bear, you know, you, I hadn't really thought through that angle before with your industry. So I think it's really cool of what you're doing. Thank you. I appreciate it. And we're <laughs> very blessed to have you in our chamber. Thank you. I love it, by the way. Good. Um, not a great, not not just because I'm, you know, I'm talking to you and I want a little plug in, but I really appreciate, I really really appreciate you actually doing what you're doing with the chamber. Um, I am so glad that I am a part of uh, this this great family. Fam this yeah, family. that's what it is. It's yes. a family. Yes. That's what I've been telling people. Like, you need to join because I've always I, I've always been wondering. Like, ah, I'm not sure. Sure. But. I was so welcomed. Uh, wonderful. I was so welcomed by everybody. It's good to hear that. I appreciate you sharing that. And uh, we love having you part of our family. And for anybody listening who's on the fence, listen to what Sharla said. Come join our family. We'd love to have you. <laughs> Thanks for coming today. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining us on our Carlsbad People, Purpose, and Impact podcast today. If you enjoyed it, please hit the follow button on wherever you get your audio. And please tell a friend. We would love to hear your feedback, which you can share at carlsbadpodcast.com. You can leave us a review, ask a question, or leave an audio comment, which we can play on the show in the future. And that's all we have for today. Can't wait to see you next time on Carlsbad People, Purpose, and Impact. And remember, share some kindness today. It's free, creates goodwill, and makes you feel great.